Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Fish for Thought. It's your boy Chris with Millie here. Say hi to the people, Millie. I have to say hi to the people. Haven't been feeling Millie's energy for FTRs lately. She's been a little diva. She's acting all shy right now. I'm shy. I'm so shy. No, we'll see how long she lasts on this episode. Avoid Ginza Art Aquarium Museum. Hey man, don't have to tell me twice. I'm in Canada. I'm nowhere close, bro. <laughs> what the heck is an aquarium museum? Why not just an aquarium or just the museum? Is that one of the art pieces? Oh, my bad. It's one out of a whole collection. You're telling me every single one of those has a fish in it? That one looks empty. The setup is kind of nice. If there's no fish in it, especially goldfish in these tiny bowls. Who designed this? Who made these choices, man? This is the worst choice. It would look great if there was nothing living in it. Damn, how deep does the rabbit hole go? These are some sick rimless tanks or whatever the hell they are. How did they make this? Oh, it looks like there's a shallow pool of water and they just flipped a rimless tank upside down. Honestly, that's a great idea. I kind of love that idea, but you could plant it up naturally and you don't have to use goldfish. Where does all this goldfish go? They look really healthy. Must have cost a fortune to buy these off of a breeder. I feel like they're just not going to do their due diligence to making sure every single fish goes to a proper home. I don't know if that's like a mirror, but <laughs> is reflecting to infinity right now or if it's like a very long and big room. I'm hoping it's a mirror so it's not actually that many fish tanks. Especially if you don't put any fish in it. It just looks like a nice collection of items in a museum. I don't know. I don't go to museums. Do I seem like the type of guy? But you zoom in on any one of them and it it, it just... <laughs> Like it looks like it's from Facebook Marketplace. Someone's trying to sell their disgusting fish tank on Facebook Marketplace. Does that not look like a listing to you? Selling for $120, brand new or like new, moving sale. That's getting smaller and smaller. It will look beautiful if you actually took the time to aquascape it properly and not put anything alive in it. Maybe snails, maybe shrimp, but certainly not little goldfish like these. They took the lazy route. Honestly, people who don't know better, they're not gonna have this kind of critique, but I'm feeling like more and more of the population are getting to know just how much it takes to take care of fish. ADA Amano type situation and then Ginza Art Museum situation in one country. That's crazy to me. Yeah, that's Facebook Marketplace 101. I would not have thought this is from a museum. That is a crazy contraption right there. But I am surprised. I don't see that much poop in these tanks and goldfish are poop machines. So maybe they're getting like a lot of water changes or there's someone hired to gravel vac until they die. No breaks. 24 seven gravel vac team. Cause goldfish are continuously pooing. Or maybe they're just malnourished. They don't get fed. I went to Ginza Art Museum today thinking I'd see beautiful fish and well taken care of enclosures as well as them being beautifully presented. <laughs> Uh, think again. Boy, was I wrong. This is pure animal abuse and this museum should never be supported by any true fish keeper. Mwah, well said, bro. True fish keeping master race. Man, if that's gatekeeping, call me Gandalf, man. You shall not pass. You're a whole bar log. This is located in Ginza, Tokyo, Japan, for those wondering. Bro, Takashi Amano rolling in his grave right now. Someone needs to talk some sense into this organization, man. Someone must have been like, ah, who cares? He's dead. He's old. This That's the old way of doing things. We are the future. This is modern. I'd expect better from an aquarium museum. This is no better than a vase or maybe even a prison museum. <laughs> the Sea World for goldfish. I was there two weeks ago and I had the same expectations. I felt very awkward afterwards for paying money to support them. Just a bunch of Facebook marketplace listings in real life. Fish tank. View. This fish tank is sent in by Kate Blockwee. Ooh, a little French, a little freaking funny. Maybe Quebecois. Y'all have the same Doge plushie, bro. Let me get it. I don't know why they had to put that in a design. I'm not really sure about that one. This is a Jewel Rio 125. I'm assuming that's 125 gallons then, or maybe it's 125 liters. I'm not sure. Pygmy Cories and two Rams. Maybe it's 125 liters. Nah, but this is a superb aquascaping job. I mean, I don't mess with the Jewel Rio series of uh, aquariums. I just never owned one myself, so I don't know what the experience is like. It looks like a solid tank. It looks pretty. We're starting off strong with a scape score of 4.78 out of five. Keep it up. Hey, Quick pause guys, this episode is sponsored by Autonomous. They are a standing desk company and they sent me their Smart Desk Pro. Use my exclusive discount code right now and check them out in the description and comments below. This came in a packaging that was crazy solid. You don't have to worry about the shipping. Setting it up was easier than a water change and way smoother than any IKEA furniture. You only need one simple screwdriver. Yeah, this thing's amazing. The quality is just top tier. It maxes out at NBA player standing height. I'm not even this tall. And your boy is six feet tall. You can easily set up to four preset heights and the desk will move to that height automatically. I just have to press two. Wait, it's automatic? No way, AI has gone too far. This desk is powerful and ready for any occasion. Even whatever the heck that is.
I feel more productive and active with less back pain when I can work standing from time to time, and the quality of the standing desk truly stands out from the competition. Check out Autonomous in the link and description, and don't forget to use my promo code on checkout. Treat yourself to quality. LFS started sorting by required tank size? No way. That's insane. 5 and 10 gallon section. 20 gallon section. Oh my goodness. Bravo, I love that. Because now it's infant. Infi infinitesimally <laughs> me over here making up words that makes things so much easier because people with the size of the tank that they have at home waiting for a fish to go in they don't need to waste their time they don't need to be tempted they just go into the section that they're literally their tank is that size so they're just limited to that selection if you want another kind of fish in a different section get that size of a tank this is monkey on switch from fake plants to real plants this is a 60 gallon community you're taking me to heaven or hell I guess because the background is black. It's rather dark. Oh, it's goldfish too. That's crazy. That's one of the craziest goldfish tanks I've ever seen. Might be one of the best goldfish tanks I've ever seen in my life, man. I'm loving that staircase to heaven. Very cool vision you have. I highly appreciate it. It stands out. It's creative. And by golly, it's a goldfish tank. Come on. Give him some props. Give the man some props, bro. Escape score of 4.62. Just got some minnows from PetSmart. Decided to test the ammonia from the water in the bag. Didn't even know it could get this high. Well, that is not on that chart. That is not on the master test kit parameters it is way past 8 ppm of ammonia man if those minnows are still living bro they got ammonia poisoning kira 2448 sent in their three gallon shrimp tank we got i think blue velvet or blue dreams in here and some other types i love that little hobbit hole you made them nice floating hornwort up top shrimp love that kind of plant guppy grass elodia java moss a solid shrimp breeding tank hope they breed for you three gallons is a pretty okay size for shrimp not three angelfish and two goldfish wombo combo scapes score of 3.9 out of 5 keep it up this guy was given fish a couple years ago and became obsessed and wished they were given drugs instead and that is the transformation of a lifetime i mean that is crazy when you redirect your obsession in a very good way that is the result that is beautiful five out of five dude look at the oko stone structure that's what a productive obsession makes you 88 glass in tens bro i think that's a nitro up top 88 with the nitro that's how we do it over here as well maybe this guy is a fish for thoughter this guy's in the cory gang but yeah that is a miraculous upgrade bro went in deep into this hobby no holds barred the coolest native fish three inch long nose gar that is indeed very cool and even cooler if it stays that size is it gonna stay that size i don't know maybe i don't know my gar species i don't know a long nose gar and how how big they get but judging from all the other gar species this is gonna get massive if it's a dwarf gar species man i'm so down i would freaking love to get a dwarf gar for like a 30 gallon or 40 gallon please instruct me what is this how big does it get i also love uh beak what is it called uh half beaks they kind of remind me of gars i want a dwarf gar i want a dwarf snakehead can't have that in canada we can't have nice things because everything's invasive here bedtime for finn bro's got an intense bedtime routine i mean you see the face right there it's like oh, i'm going in hard i'm gonna sleep my ass off tonight <laughs> nothing's gonna stop me i took my melatonin blah, 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 blah. my mom sent me these her new fish Oh, well, these new fish are about to be old fish real quick. Let me tell you. One out of three. Okay, let's go. Go on this journey with me. Oh, oh, okay. Well, she went all out on that shopping spree, man. That's fish for days. I'm pretty sure she went to the Ginza Aquarium and got her inspiration there because... Or maybe the Ginza... The Ginza directors got their inspiration from Yo Mama because apparently they're both indistinguishable from each other. That's what I was meaning to say. Like, that's just somebody's mother's wet dream. <laughs> okay, that sounds really wrong. I'm gonna stop right there. But great collaborative effort from your mom and Ginza Aquarium in Tokyo. I never thought I'd say that an aquarium in Tokyo would be akin to a Facebook marketplace horrible fishbowl with goldfish in it. My expectations have been destroyed. This is sent in by Lombard. And immediately that Episto cockatoides is, wow, flaming hot Cheetos, my guy. I can't believe to this day these Episto are freshwater. Like appearance-wise, that is incredible. That thing looks like it's from an anime. It's like Spider-Verse, Miles Morales universe. You got a school of uh, Ember Tetras, I believe. I don't think it's overstocked personally. Not at all. Ember Tetra barely has any footprint anyway. Gape score of 4.48. Keep up the great work. This is a small betta fish tank. I think when they said no dead angle, they meant yes, dead betta. 
<laughs> that actually looks awesome for a Moss Terrarium. Yes, Churs, please rate my tank as a 5 gallon with 1 Oscar, 1 meta, and 1 life plant. Please give it 5 out of 5. The Aqua Skip is very good. This is obviously a troll. Uh, Frankenstein Labs does pretty good work with their fish tanks. So, And I think we've reviewed their fish tank on this channel a few times. They're a well-respected member of our Discord community. As far as I know, I, don't disappoint me. This is just a play on certain people that uh, ask for their fish tank to be reviewed. It's pretty spot on because some people do say that it's like a really good tank. And I'm like, bro, why are you asking me to review it if you already know it's a good tank? If you think it's a good tank, I'm not in it to change your mind, I guess. If you think that tank is good, you're deeper than I can dive, my G. Unbelievable. That reminds me of DJ Khaled. Goldfish Bowl, now $1.99 each. Shiver me timbers, goldfish all over the world. This sale is too good to pass up. For a fish abuser or someone who just doesn't know any better and kind of wanted to keep fish, it's been in the back of their minds. You can't just walk past this deal and not get it and then swipe a fish in the same time. Inconsequential amount of money for someone who's looking for a new friend. So this, this is dangerous. Correct advertising? No way. Top thin. I think that says shrimp and plant only or something like that. Now you got to change all the other tanks that are in this similar size to proper Advertise. The duckweed is unstoppable. Oh, oh, that's so sad. <laughs> Man, if my morning coffee got infested by duckweed, that's my whole day right there, bro. Where did that duckweed even come from? That's a crazy fish keeping thing right there. My Anubia has bloomed. Is it just me or does it look like it's flipping me off. <laughs> Damn, your Anubia is like, hello, F you. <laughs> and knows that this world is cruel and it has no more Fs to give. Straight up. China's Guangzhou Automobile Group says it has developed the first ammonia powered car engine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yo, fish keepers are going to be able to drive without gas soon. Actually, fish abusers. Damn it. Proper fish keepers will not be able to benefit from this. Welcome back to the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. We have lost all the hosts. I'm the only one left because I'm the realist there is. Man, I can't let you guys leave without Oh, Katua. Since we kind of ended on the topic of cars, what is the car that you want to own in the future? I'm not talking about dream cars. I mean, you can put your dream car if you want, but I'm talking about like realistic dream car because that makes it much more interesting that you can maybe actually afford and drive that kind of car one day in your life instead of just like dreaming too big, like millions of dollars sort of car, hundred thousands of dollars car that's unattainable. I like to dream in the realm of possibility. <laughs> Even my dreams are uh, lackluster. But yeah, let me know what kind of car do you see yourself driving in like 10, 20, 30 years from now. If you enjoyed this episode, please smash that like button. There'll be more videos to come and don't forget to get your hands wet. Tetra, 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 we in a spot coming in hot. Ventral fin dot, acclimate that. With my shoal act, clear my fin rod from Karasiformis to Parachirodon. Hold on, there's not another fish that you can wish for. Lit fam says, I finna one. I finna gone three days without fur. I'm an addict, like fanatic. I'm a baddest, no tabs, only dirt. My Cory gang so loyal, black Tetra go skirt. We came to play, came to silence. Gang.